Hey, um, I'm back. Hi. So you may or may not know about this series called Spongebob Horror Problem. It's basically kind of like Chucky or even Tails all for that matter. But it was but if it was like Spongebob themed or something. Um and it's from my friend uh Mickey and Spongebob Plush, but he's also known as like Bree Baby or Tyshawn or anything like that, so yeah, what it was is that it was uh Spongebob, I guess he moved out of town. Like I'm I can't really remember what happened, but Spongebob moved out of town, I think. I don't I don't know, I'm sorry, but he moved out of town, he got this strange looking doll, and he gave it to Patrick, I guess, so Patrick can remember Spongebob by. And then the Spongebob doll turns evil, and all that basically starts killing everybody. Um, I thought it was a good series by the episodes I remember. It was definitely like a good break from the Mickey or Spongebob.exe series or something like that. But, uh, yeah. But today in this video, I'm going to rank by how best or worst are the episodes from that series. So let's get into it. Be I'm gonna be honest, part seven really didn't interest me. It was just boring. I don't know, I don't remember the original score that I gave it, that I said to Brie, ba Brie Baby, but I don't know. The minion was just kind of weird and unnecessary, but I think he does add to the story, so I'll give it a pass. But I will admit that this scene right here with the explosion, that was pretty cool, and he drew that. That wasn't even an animation either, which makes it even cooler. I can't even do that. But, uh, I don't know. It didn't really interest me, so I'll give it like a 4.5 out of 10. All right, here we go. Next one. Mediocre? This one was also mid, but I think it was definitely better than part seven. And, uh, I also like how they show, like, uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. I like how they shown, like, the characters that died in the previous episodes, but they come back to life as, like, ghosts, I think, and they're invading, like, Spongebob's mind or something like that. And the minion showed up again, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. Next one. I mean, it's all right. I don't really know what to say about the final because... This was when, like, I binge-watched all of the Spongebob Horror Problem episodes before I actually made this video. And honestly, I don't even remember still a lot from it. I mean, it was cool, I guess. I mean, I don't know. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't really remember it. And, yeah, I don't know. Once again, I still don't really remember what happened in part 5, but I definitely think that I enjoyed this better than the final episode somehow, but uh yeah, I don't know, it was cool, but uh even though I don't remember it, yeah, all right, next one. Now this is one that I actually do remember. Um I actually liked this episode. I remember that there was one nitpick that I had with it, and it was because, like, I added, like, for the news video, well, this this news video, I added, like, a little, like, dead bar jump scare at the end, and, uh, I guess Tyshawn forgot to show that, so then I kind of, like, asked, well, no, I didn't ask him. I just said that it was bad just for that one thing, which I don't know why, but don't ask. But yeah, it's just whatever. Um, it's good. Alright, so right around here, I'm probably gonna stop making the, like, noise memes for the rankings, but whatever. I also really like this episode, too. And especially since it used my little, like, 
video. It was meant for like an intro, but apparently like Patrick didn't die or something. I can't really remember, but I, he told me that it won't work because Patrick didn't die or something like that. So I decided, how about this will be like a nightmare? How about this will be like a nightmare scene for SpongeBob or something like that? And then that's when, you know, the whole scene of him waking up and stuff like that. But yeah, um, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I forgot to rank this earlier, but honestly, it's, I don't even remember it to the point where it's just so forgettable, so, I don't know. Alright, so for the top three, we're getting into the shorter ones, and honestly, I kind of like the shorter ones, honestly. They're like, they don't last forever, you don't need to watch it for so long, like, the end, like, the La the couple last ones like the final the part nine because i don't really remember them but uh yeah i like it and i like the squidward suicide reference too or no i sh i should actually say red mist i like the red mist reference too but uh yeah i like it once again this is also the short one but uh yeah it's still fine i like it um now, this was technically a remake from one that was made, like, a year ago, but, um, sorry, my mic cut it off, but this is a remake from one that he posted, like, a year ago, and, uh, and once again, it's short, like, the Squidward and the Mr. Krabs one, but I like how he used, like, the thundering or something like that. Like, the thunder, the knocking, and all that good sound effects. I mean, they did get reused over in the series, but still, pretty cool. Alright, I really, really liked this one. I mean, I just said that the sound effects were getting a little too overused, but this is the part two, so it's fine, but whatever. But, yeah, the sa the realistic sound effects, the there were some cool edits, my news video, um, a short video, his nice, nice story. I don't know how, but this story was even better than, uh, the la than the last ones. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so I am finally done ranking all of the Spongebob Horror Problem episodes. Some were good, some were forgettable, and, uh, honestly, I would recommend the series. Like, once again, it's a fr- Sorry, my mic glitched again, but, uh, yeah, I would honestly recommend these episodes. Like- Wait, no, I already said that. These were, like, a fresh, like, break from the Mickey or SpongeBob.exe series. I know I already said that, but I'm saying it again. And, uh, yeah. Um, I got nothing really else to say. But, uh, yeah. Alright.